time at Richmond, the United States, and Trinidad and Tobago. Let's spend some time now with John Harks, the captain for life of the squad. He wears number six. His service certainly not a secret. How you doing? John Harks, the first American to play in the English Premier League, the first to win the League Cup there, the first American to score England's goal of the year, the first American soccer player called into People Magazine's team of the 50 most beautiful people, and through the magic of a commercial, the first player to kick a ball through the window of the White House. To grow up in Kearney, New Jersey, Soccer Town, USA, is to play ball on the streets. Harks was coached by his father, James. By the age of 20, he was on the national team and playing professionally in England at the age of 23. Being the first one to venture over into the English League and, and establish myself there uh, was very difficult. Uh, it, was, it was hard, uh, a lot harder than people actually know. I was pushed out and there was no respect for the American player back in those days and uh, I'm very sarcastic as it is so I was able to take that and you have to have a you have to have a good I don't know a good sense of humor I guess to really make it over there you have to laugh about it you have to be able to look at yourself and laugh. Parks does trail Alexi Lawless in the critical stat appearances on Letterman but his experience his skills and his off-field personality have stamped him the nation's signature player. He is the one guy in this team I think you can't help but respect and look up to because of, just because of the way he is and, and the way he goes about his business, he works very hard. I think a lot of guys realize uh, his background, where he's come from and where he's been and I think a lot of guys have a lot of respect for him. It's an ideal choice for our captain. You know, John Hawks is, is, uh, is everything uh, a soccer player should be. Well, he, uh, you know, he definitely has the, uh, the intelligence and the, uh, the creativity. And the, uh... oh, he's a child, come on. <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's probably a story to tell about John every day. He's, uh, he's the biggest prankster on the team. Oh. No, you know, he does a really good impersonation of Jim Carrey, which I think is pretty lame, but... soccer <laughs> you know, he thinks he's funnier than me but I don't think so I never have fear <laughs> soccer I love it what's going on here <laughs> you think you are following me around the city <laughs>